What was that? I'm referring to the Republican debate today that CNN hosted. It reminded me of a circus act and a final stand for pretty much all the candidates except for Trump. Now, it's so amazing to watch this and have the conviction that no matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone does, you will still have people who will support a person regardless. Now, I am strong in several of my convictions and in several of my views, but there are things which can alter, alter or perhaps change my stance on a candidate or particular issues. There are all types of different perspectives I can see from and try to analyze in a way that may potentially just change my views on the subject as well. Who knows? But what I do know is that the Republican Party in continuing to vote for Trump is sinking further and further and further into this backroom deal with Hillary Clinton to get her elected and completely do away with any chance a conservative has to reclaim the White House. Because I, I am not in any way an advocate of her campaign, an advocate of the Democratic Party, an advocate of socialism. But I do believe that she has a higher chance of winning than Trump. And I go off of every poll that's come out. I go off of every, just anything that's been released regarding her and Trump in a matchup. It's always her beating him. And if Democrats nominate Sanders, it'll be even worse. So they really only have three people they could go with. But only two of them are realistic. It's either Cruz or Rubio. I've, I've said that multiple times. Cruz or Rubio. Those are the only two who actually stand a chance. I've advocated for that for for a while, quite a while now. At least since this the actual voting season began. Just sort of rallying behind these two people and saying these are the ones to go with. And their performances tonight really were the result of tactics that ha that were proven to have not worked and their attempts at trying to channel some last minute interest in their campaigns now as I said before I don't purport to be any type of individual that is for either one of, the, of their campaigns but I am for their candidacies over Trump's they are far superior in terms of electability in terms of policy than he is Half the things Clinton can go after him for, he, she can't for those two. So that, that's something to really think about, and that's something these voters in these upcoming states need to realize. When they vote for this man, Donald Trump, they vote for that woman, Hillary Clinton. And it will be a disgrace, a, an absolute travesty to have her assume the White House not because of Democrats voting for but because of the amount of Republicans that voted for the person that a large quantity believed could defeat him or could defeat her rather so it's it's something that they're, they're just sinking themselves further the uh, debate really just, just came out to me as being this last ditch effort and it had me questioning why Kasich and Carson are even still in this, other than to get on TV for free, which they could still do anyway. Look at Gingrich. It's, it's mind-boggling. But there are people who have opinions that are different from mine, and I, have to, I may not agree with it, but I respect it. I only wish they would respect their political party enough to go with the person who actually has a chance of winning. And, and not just winning a couple of states or winning the primary, winning the general election. So there, there, people are currently voting for Trump are in this mindset 
of everyone is like me, and that's not true. You have to be able to appeal to people who aren't exactly like you, who, who disagree with you in a few things. That's the way life works. So I'm just going to end this now. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.